Hi, I'm Jewel Fry. You've just got your Pluto trigger and you need help setting it up. Well, this video is for you. So let's get started. Your Pluto has arrived and you're excited and you open up the box and you've got no idea what to do to get it working. Okay, let's get you started. You should have received your Pluto trigger with a hot shoe adapter and a camera cable specific for your camera. Plug one end of the camera cable into the Pluto trigger where shown and the other end goes into your camera. With the Pluto trigger mounted on your camera, turn on the switch. The next thing you need to do is to download the Pluto app onto your phone. Once you have found the app, Press the install button. Open up the app and it will then display a lot of messages asking for the Pluto trigger to be able to connect to your audio and visual of your camera. Press allow for each one. You now need to pair your phone with your Pluto trigger. Click on the spinning circle in the top right of your screen. The app will now start looking for your Pluto trigger. An icon with the ID PT followed by a series of numbers will show up. This is your Pluto trigger. If you're using an Android phone, please make sure you've enabled location service for the app to find the Pluto trigger. Click on the detected Pluto trigger. That is where it says PT, not the phone icon in the center. And this will now establish a wireless connection. If your app did not find the Pluto trigger, on your Pluto trigger, press and hold the button for at least five seconds. If the status LED blinks three times, then Bluetooth has been turned on. If the status LED blinks only once, then Bluetooth has been turned off. So press and hold again to turn Bluetooth on. Navigate back to the main screen and you'll see now where the spinning icon was in the top right hand corner, there should be a little battery. And that battery is the battery level of your Pluto trigger. If this is still spinning, still try out your Pluto trigger because mine in the past has still continued to spin but is working perfectly well and sometimes I get the little battery. So press the play button underneath where it says tap and see if it fires off your camera. If you're having trouble, there is a user manual on the app. Tap the three horizontal lines in the top left corner and it will reveal the menu for the Pluto trigger. Scroll down to the bottom where you see the words user manual. Click on that and you'll see a quick start guide. Your Pluto trigger should now be set up and ready to go. Let the fun begin. I hope this video is helpful in getting you started in using your Pluto trigger. And if it is, then please do hit the like button and subscribe and look at all my Pluto videos, which goes through most of the features of the Pluto trigger. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And also hit that bell so you get notifications when I put up future videos. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.